It then gets interesting because you say, well, why do we have to go into the future? Why can't I stop going into the future? Well, you can vary the rate at which you go into the future relative to someone else. For example, if I was to get in a rocket now and accelerate off, even at 1G, right, just a sort of acceleration I could take and, and head off and end up traveling relatively close to the speed of light. And let's say go to the Andromeda galaxy and then, which is two million light years away from, from the perspective of the Earth, and then turn around and come back again. If I go close enough to the speed of light, I could arrange it so I would age, let's say, a year on the outward journey and a year on the inward journey. And you could do that calculation. But four million years would have passed on Earth. So I would come back on that journey two years older, but I'd arrive at the Earth four million years in the future. So that's just, that's special relativity. That's Einstein's theory published in 1905, not even the theory of gravity. So time travel is possible into the future and it's inevitable that you travel into the future and you can vary the rate you go into the future relative to someone else by the way that you travel around. In the past, Einstein's special theory of relativity from E equals MC squared, that thing in 1905 says no, can't, because of the really the geometry of space and time themselves. Uh, his general theory of relativity where space and time can be curved, that's his theory of gravity, 